As golfing games go, the Golf Club 2 from HB Studios and Maximum Games has to be one of the biggest and definitely one of the most customizable. Great effort has been placed on improving areas that were criticised in the original game. Specific emphasis has been placed on a career mode and the societies feature, which comprises an interesting take on the traditional multiplayer mode. More on that later. Ultimately, this dramatically adds some much needed meat to the game mechanics as a whole. The swing mechanics have been updated too and are now super authentic and even include a practice swing. To master the new swing really does require some finesse, but also it provides an incredible amount of control for the player. By adjusting your swing action even slightly, you can make significant changes to your shot, and when combined Looks with like the in-game tools, you really can make the most rewarding shots happen, and feel like that you actually made it happen. Of course, there is the other end of that yardstick too, where you know that you alone are at fault. No! Oh, that was moderately disappointing. Moderately disappointing. Negative feedback about putting from the original game did not fall on deaf ears either, and the putting mechanics have also received a significant layer right, of adjustment. The green's the brake speeds might need a little tweaking, or perhaps it just takes time to learn. But overall, the greens and putting feel smooth, natural, and sinking a tricky putt is super rewarding. Go on! Get in there! Let's slide that putt in there for the bird. The game now includes, and indeed begins, with an in-depth interactive tutorial, something which was lacking in the original. It is completely optional and can be quit out and then revisited at any time. The tutorial moves along at a reasonable pace and explains the new swing mechanic system in detail. It also does a great job of introducing new players to all of the shot types and techniques. Button configurations are fully customizable, with the keyboard and mouse set as the default, but controllers are also allowed, and one of the first decisions is to select either the left or the right thumbstick to swing with. Customization is definitely the keyword when it comes to the golf course too, with a new and complete character generator and a decent variety of clubs, clothing and accessories to buy and modify. The combinations are endless. Thankfully, the Golf Club 2 is a golf simulator and has not taken the approach whereby clothing and clubs give your character extra power-ups or perks. Instead, the Golf Club 2 is a pure and realistic simulator and focuses on players' skill, planning and recovery as the catalyst for a good round. And it doesn't stop there. Career mode allows you to pick or plan your seasons with great precision, and once you progress enough, you can start your own society. Societies offer very exciting possibilities. Each society will have their own bank balance, so they can choose their own clubhouse. The richer the club, the grander the clubhouse can be. You can invite friends and players to join, and you can create and invite your society members to your own major tournaments. These are tournaments that you have designed, set the prize money for, and basically managed every single little aspect of the event to your own personal liking. Crowds will turn up for the club's majors, and the bigger the club, the bigger the crowds. Plus, the head-up display will become more TV-like, and the commentary will also adapt to the occasion. As your society grows, even more options are unlocked, and more can be done. This is definitely going to be the meat of this club sandwich. With all of that in mind, plus the plethora of courses available within the game and the ability to create and share your own courses using the new and improved course creator, your choice of courses to play on will never ever run dry. There are literally hundreds of thousands of courses created for the original Golf Club game, and they are not only compatible, but they are cross-platform compatible. A tremendous feature. During a round you will be accompanied, encouraged, 
and occasionally mocked by your caddy, John McCarthy, who is really nothing more than a commentator or perhaps just your inner voice. Although upbeat and at times entertaining, the script depth is shallow. Coming off the dreaded double bogey on that last hole, um, let's see if we can start fresh here, get something better. And becomes repetitive pretty quickly. There might be an option to turn this feature off, but either way you will pretty quickly begin to skip and ignore this aspect of the game. The Golf Club 2 has no PGA content or real world known golfers to compete against. Its focus is purely on individual players' progress and their associated societies. With a price tag of £30 or more, you will have to decide if this is a mitigating factor or not. Multiplayer in the golf club is also a little different from the norm. Rather than the traditional lobby approach, the golf club too Whoa. comes with three multiplayer variants. Local, which is the most like traditional multiplayer, except it's not online. Ghost. This is where you play against previous players' recorded rounds and choose to have ghosting on or not. Finally, there's Rival Mode. This is where you play against another player online. You can see their scorecard, but not their shots. Options here include turn-based and ball ghosting. Despite the Golf Club 2 updating their engine to Unity 5 and some areas of the game looking significantly better, there are a number of areas where the game's presentation should be improved. Having player-created characters is great, but they do look a little dated. Certain aspects and areas of the courses look spectacular, whereas other parts simply do not. For example, the sand right, mechanics have been left a little wanting, unfortunately. It appears that sand textures, physics and animations have simply been copied over from the original golf club. There is some significant texture popping that happens all over the place too. The completely silent aircraft animations which are present on some courses are repetitive, flying way too close to the ground in what appears to be a holding formation and way too close to each other. This just ends up being a weird distraction rather than an added realistic feature. Audio across the board could do with beefing up a whole hog too, to really add to the ambiance and boost that level of immersion. There are quite a few bugs in the system. HP Studios appear to be aware of the majority of them and have a list, so these should be getting fixed sooner rather than later. If you're a real golfer, and you want to play a real game of golf, then this is definitely the best option on the market today. The handicaps, societies, major tournaments, plus the unlimited options and course creations available to absolutely good. everyone, makes the Golf Club 2 just about the best of the lot. Graphically, much could be done, Whoa, but enough uh, is yeah, done to ensure that you and your friends can one. enjoy a Let's few rounds of golf together hot and then reminisce about them in your society's clubhouse, just so long as you can stomach the approach employed for multiplayer games. Overall, what's not to like? More content than any other golf game in history, the best swing mechanics in history, and, above all, the ability for you and your society to go down in history. My name's Mike, this is SimUK, thanks for watching. Until well, next time, goodbye. Fight. Nothing wrong with that. All right, this next one's for Birdie. Come on, in under ten. No, what was that? Oh no!